This place is great, really comfortable. I'm just gonna get settled in. Time to move on, get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. said it was a long time ago let it go seriously style in Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right, it wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited. Really, I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It certainly, it certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life. Just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent -a clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I 
I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seemed to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. And something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Ah, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. So who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. The guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Pass off! What the hell was that? I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second. And now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. Got this floor? Sure. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about. Trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl.
was the boss lady, only this time she wasn't calling for more vodka in her Cosmo. She was out on one of the balconies, and I hoped, not about to be thrown off it. Money gets you anything on prescription, and here, there's plenty of that. Sooner or later, I'd have to go out there and see what was happening. It wasn't the time, and I was still a little rusty, but the tune was coming together. Just as this new start of mine was about to come to a shuddering halt, It might have been stupidity, drunkenness, or maybe both, but before I knew it I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Nice work. 
Hey, you need a hand? No, you. Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Where's Bronco? Dragging Bronco along would slow them down, but not much.
I had to move quick or Bronco's next charitable donation would be to the worms. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. Once I opened the door, I'd actually have to come up with a plan. Bronco was out the door. All bets were off. I had to keep moving. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Rodrigo was in the van. Maybe it was time to let him out. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, vocês aí, que porra vocês estão fazendo? A justiça local? Que porra você acha que é falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não ponho o nariz onde não é chamado. 
Vamos! Chama uma ambulância! Fuck. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufid, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home, too. Come on. Back home, it was time for some R&R. &R, the only way I knew how. I was ready for bed. <laughs> A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get into a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up more people went missing. Well, it's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is a cool town, man. Hey, here we are. <laughs> I love this place. I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Fashion week. My god, idiot, but so beautiful. You know Anastasia? Oh, yeah, I know Anna. I doubt she can even spell her
Your table, nothing but the best. Nothing but the second best. Why can't we sit over there, man? Oh, I love you, but Cloud you booked in advance. Cloud you? Fucking Cloud you. He isn't even any good. If he were good, he'd be in Barcelona, Milan. He couldn't even make it in Germany. Now he comes back here, he acts like fucking royalty. I'll introduce him. Nah, I need Caesar. Just give me a bottle of champagne, eh? This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic yeah. people. <laughs> fucking monkey from a fucking slum. He acts cool with me. What's that? Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What are you fucking doing, man? About what? What do you do about life? <laughs> Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed, and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit. People, fuck them. People get me wrong. <sighs> I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Oh, ah, my oh, nigga! Man. How are you? <laughs> What's your bet, Mo? What's your bet? Thank God he had left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. on their heads or a tag on their toes. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for beginners phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. Fools love the private exit.
your typical trendy hellhole, a playground for the overpreened and undernourished. Sushi and house music and vodka, a place you don't get through the door unless you're rich, beautiful, or in this instance, it seemed, a heavily armed psychopath. thing I had in common with the clientele of this trendy hellhole, some shared habits. I remembered there was a patio upstairs, but the only thing I'd managed to clock in that place was the smoking area. see the lobby on the other side. How's it going, bro? It's not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find the girls. Got it. They came out here. They went that way into the louse. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. You can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind you. Get everybody else out of here. Son of a bitch.
There was another delay I didn't need. This wasn't looking good. I'd almost lost the boss's wife once this week. Now I was giving them two for the price of one. You an American? Sure. Yeah, I'm from Steele, North Dakota, just outside of Bismarck. Anders Stetling. This is some place, huh? They, they told me it was a little fresh, but I wasn't expecting things to be quite like this. No? No, see, I've, I've seen things. I was a cop for 25 years. I've seen men run over by combines. I've seen husbands who just ate their wives, but a gunfight in a disco? You were a cop? Yeah. Just retired. Oh, what a life that was. And it gave me the money to raise a family. I got a girl at college in Wisconsin and a boy who's playing football for Minnesota State. You want to see their picture? No, no, that's all right. It oh. sounds nice. Listen, you stay in here. Don't be a hero. Oh, I won't. I'm retired. Happy, healthy ex-cop? Give me a break. Much as I like to indulge in self-reflection, this wasn't the time. It looked loud and expensive enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure knew how to draw the eye, and maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. But one thing I had in common with the clientele of this trendy hellhole, some shared habits. For all I knew, they were gone already. I couldn't stop now. Hey, yeah, it's me. I'm never gonna find them, Passos. What? What? I, I can't hear you. I'm going around in circles. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. choice but to keep pushing forward. They were still alive at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine.
This wasn't the time to be second-guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose them. If I was going to lose the boss's wife and sister-in-law, I might as well do it medicated. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a bit of class of psychopaths. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls, and, and Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oh, yeah. oh, there they are. Quick, get after them. Are you crazy? You can't just leave her. Max, you're gonna do something. Come on, get the rifle back there.
Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco's security team consisted of more than a drunk American has-been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did.
gostar de matar essa puta. Tem muita coisa que eu gostaria de fazer com ela.
The odds on Giovanna still being alive were getting worse by the second, and if Fabiana wasn't dead already, I was guessing pretty soon she'd start wishing she was. I was up for one god-awful performance review. Procrastination, one of the many contenders for my epitaph. But if I didn't get to Giovanna soon, the Broncos would be writing hers tomorrow morning. This was a mess. Where the hell was Passos? We were two failed cops failing miserably at being bodyguards. He approached everything with about as little preparation as I did. Maybe that's why we got along. It was Giovanna's necklace. Now I just had to find the rest of her. I had already wasted enough time. If I had any hope of saving her, I had to move now. Look all right. Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Passos, where is he? Is he okay? I had to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my God, it's Cole. Giovanna, no! what are you doing? Giovanna. <laughs> hey, no, nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Passos was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too. choice do we have? We have never paid out ransoms before. But I don't know. I don't like the feeling of this. What about you, Max? I don't know. Uh, I'm no expert on hostage negotiations. I, I know people who are, but they're in America. We don't have time for America. I know you're right, Marcelo. It's not like I don't have the money to pay. Father made a lot of money. We have always been targets. We all know that. But much as it pains me, I don't see we have a choice. Maybe after we pay, we find out who did it. We have them... But we all know what I'm saying. Who do you think is targeting your family? Haters! Who can say? Life in this country is not easy, you can see that. I have tried to do business the right way, but that's not always possible. Of course I made enemies, but I've also paid a lot of bribes. No idea. It's probably that street gang trying to get a me. I don't know. People I know have tried to reach out to this group. Commando Sombra. They're not from any of the favelas around here. They're linked to the drug business. Now, what have I got to do with drugs? Nothing. Everybody loves money. I just drug. want my wife back. <clears throat> we can take the money to them.
Sem fazer barulho, sem fazer cagada, hein? Ei, vocês aí, parado, filho da puta! Ei, ei, ei! Bota essa arma no chão! Ei, puta gun down, put down your gun. Bota essa arma no chão agora! Slow, slow, slow. Não faça nada, estúpido. Me mostra o dinheiro. What's he saying? Open the bag, show me it's full of money. Depressa, porra, depressa! Easy, pal, easy. Vem! Someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone, and I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullets came from long range. They were well-armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. You okay? Yeah. All right, let's go. There's got to be a first aid kit around here somewhere. I've been shot more times than I could remember, but this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message, trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Or maybe I just severed an artery and was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot playing with guns. Either way, I was failing fast. At least one of us had a gun now. That raised our chances of survival all the way from nil to slim. Come on, Max, let's go! Keep going, you got this! The guy with the bag must have got hit. He's bleeding all over the place. He's not the only one. Come on. I think he went this way. So this was it. My easy retirement money. My blood-stained 401k. A chance to drink for free while chaperoning socialites around town and making sure the poor people didn't get too close. The brochure sure didn't mention any of this shit. Back there, brother. Hold on. Wait here a second. Oh, not a problem. All the fun. <laughs> you see there, Grandpa? Come on. I'm getting flashbacks to that wedding we worked in Aruba. Yeah, back to the good old days when I thought I might actually like this job. <sighs> Dumb sport. <sighs> hey, careful, my friend. That's blasphemy in this town. You okay, bro? Never better. Whose idea was this, anyway? Yeah, I wonder. Uh, uh, Is it bad? Uh, could be a lot worse. Here. Thank you. Uh, right. Mm. Here we go. Put the sleeve up, come on. Uh, All right, don't be a pussy. So what now? We make sure that the right clowns get the money. Who the hell you think that was? It tried to gate crash our little wine and cheese party. I have no idea. This is Sao Paulo, brother. Could be anyone. Uh, anyone with access to high-powered sniper rifles and trained killers. That's pretty much everyone. Great. So what now, Einstein? Well, I guess we 
get these commandos sombra their money. And make sure they know we did not try to trick them otherwise. Fabiana, she won't come back in such good shape. Come on, come on. Right, let's keep moving. 